The Centers for Disease Control found more than a third of Americans are obese. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services blaming poor diet along with limited exercise for those numbers. ABC 7's Erica Jackson shares the lifestyle changes you can make to build a healthier future. You might be having trouble losing inches off your waist because your weight loss goals are unrealistic. So we did some digging to find out which diets had the best success rate for locals with busy schedules. People make up excuses because they can't go to the gym and the number one way to actually get in shape is in the kitchen. When Patrick DeFeo stopped complaining and started doing, he saw real results. I look at the picture of myself every single day of what I look like and I never want to be that person again. Just last year, DeFeo realized he was leading an unhealthy lifestyle. At five foot six, he weighed 330 pounds with a 60 inch waist. But after 10 months of healthy eating and exercise, he shed 30 inches off his waist and is down to just 195 pounds. You actually embrace it as a lifestyle change instead of looking at it as a diet. DeFeo lost 135 pounds in less than one year by sticking to the ketogenic diet, eating strictly low carb and high fat foods. Adults on the standard keto diet usually eat about 75% fats, 20% protein, and 5% carbs. There is a risk of your cholesterol going up, along with kidney stones and some other potential complications from that diet. Sarasota Memorial Hospital dietitian Emily Heron says the ketogenic diet isn't her first choice for patients, although it can mean quick weight loss. There's no one size fits all diet um, that we can recommend for anyone. Instead, she says patients will see better results with a basic plant based diet, eating mainly fruits, vegetables, beans and nuts which is best for overall health. It's very good for kind of your cholesterol labs and your overall heart health to do these low saturated fat diets. But Heron says the best diet for your body is one you can stick to and recommends starting a diet plan that fits with your workout and your schedule. At CrossFit Bradenton, instructor Hannah Winner says her clients count macros, proteins, carbs, and fats instead of just counting calories. Depending on your weight, your lifestyle, your exercise level, those macros are going to be different based on every individual. She says many bodybuilders at the gym are also following the paleo diet, strictly eating fish, lean meats, fruits, vegetables and nuts, food that could have been easily obtained during the Paleolithic era thousands of years ago. It's pretty anti-inflammatory, which is nice because those carbohydrates and the dairy are inflammatory in your body. So that works really well for some people. And you always have to think about it's not only the diet, but it's exercise, stress management, good sleep. There's a whole lot more than just the diet to losing weight. Some dieters are also focusing on when they eat rather than what goes in their body. It's a new craze called intermittent fasting. And DeFeo says he's keeping off the pounds by eating on a strict schedule. I go up to 24 to 40 hours without eating and working out without feeling any down. But Heron says it's not for everyone. If you do have a tendency to maybe have low blood sugars or you have prediabetes or diabetes, um, the jury's still out on whether intermittent fasting would be safe in those populations. Speak with your doctor or consult with a nutritionist before starting a new diet so they can help determine which one is best for your health. DeFeo says he still has a long road on his path to success and vows to stay positive, keeping an open mind while celebrating the small victories. You have to visualize the person you really want to be and embrace that and surround yourself with people who want the same thing for you. Diets are all about self-control, but if you do find yourself slipping through the cracks, nutrition experts say you should acknowledge your mistake and have a plan to get back on track. Back to you. All right, Erica, thank you. Now, some of those were the diets here locally, but U.S. News & World Report found that the DASH, Mediterranean, and Flexitarian diets are among the top weight loss plans across the country.